USAID's Strategic Economic Research and Analysis, SARA, had three strategic objectives. To improve the economic environment for inclusive growth, to strengthen the capacity of policy development institutions, and to improve the availability of economic data. The SARA program provided evidence-based research support and training to multiple stakeholders. Key milestones included thematic research, such as economic analysis, focused on a wide variety of topics and sectors. In addition to thematic research, the program supported thousands of hours of training to Zimbabwean economists, funded important national statistical data collection activities, and supported the dissemination of critical statistical reports and policy research. The SARA program worked with the Zimbabwe Economic Policy Research Unit, ZEPARU, to develop, produce, and disseminate numerous policy and economic analyses on a variety of topics in Zimbabwe. In the second half of the program, SARA began working with numerous additional stakeholders. SARA's support has been demand-driven and built around the specific and unique needs of the beneficiary institutions and stakeholders. A wide variety of topics and sectors were covered, and support was provided to upgrade the Ziparu Economic Barometer publication and develop a composite index of leading indicators to effectively track Zimbabwe's economic performance. Together with Ziparu, other stakeholders and donors, SARA produced a set of sector and topic-specific studies. These covered tourism, agriculture, mining, the cost driver study, which helped see the creation of the National Competitiveness Commission, the Perceptions of Corruption Survey, which was a joint effort among SARA, CZI, ZNCC, SMEAZ, and the Catalytic Research on the Business Enabling Environment, which helped initiate critical doing business reforms. SARA assistance contributed to the creation of nine new policies, which have been approved and passed for implementation, three of which included gender-specific content. Of these, four have been confirmed to have begun implementation. The second objective of the SARA program was to strengthen capacity of policy development institutions. SARA provided a menu of content-specific training options to Zimbabwean economists, including sponsorship to attend established courses with various regional partners and the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics. These courses were a direct response to specific on-the-job training needs to strengthen the economic analysis capacity of economists within identified beneficiary institutions. Sarah sponsored 67 beneficiaries to attend specialized established courses at partner training institutions in the region and co-sponsored training events in Zimbabwe for 81 economists, 145 economists from various government and non-governmental organizations were exposed to mission-focused topics, including financial planning, advanced Excel skills, regional integration, econometrics, survey methodology, and economic modeling. Long-term training was provided in the form of bursaries for government economists to obtain their master's or doctorate degrees in economics. Students were drawn from various government institutions with the understanding that following graduation, they would continue employment with the same institution. As of mid-2016, 15 sponsored students graduated with an MSc in Economics from the University of Zimbabwe. Three final master's students are scheduled to graduate in September 2016. Um, my name is Clary uh, Chikwede. I applied for the Ziparu Bezari program uh, funded by USAID SERA. I've always wanted to be to, to augment my skills any, as an economist, but I was constrained with finances. Uh, usually, as women, it's very difficult to be a mother, to manage the children, uh, and then find some uh, financial resources to, to augment your career or to take up uh, your career to a higher level. So I'd like to appreciate and thank uh, USAID Sarah for this sponsorship, and I would also I want to urge them to continue to do such programs uh, for, 
for Zimbabweans, especially the, the women side, because usually even at workplace we are usually looked down upon, but after attaining maybe some uh, necessary skills, uh, they will then upgrade you. Thank you. Three students have been sponsored by the SARA program to obtain PhD degrees at institutions in South Africa. The beneficiaries are Dr. William Kavila, who has graduated. He is the deputy director in the Economic Research Division of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Prudence Stephen Moyo is scheduled to graduate in 2016. Prudence is the senior economist in the Economic Research Division of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Dr. Nebson Mpunga graduated and he is the deputy director in the Economic Research Division of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. I received a scholarship to undertake a PhD program at Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University in South Africa. Uh, following the successful completion of my program, I was promoted from a principal economist to a deputy director. The program also enabled me to become a consultant. I am a consultant under the Macroeconomic and Financial Management Institute of Southern and Eastern Africa, where I am an expert in debt management. So from the time I completed my PhD, I am now being consulted in several countries. I have conduct conducted debt sustainability analysis in countries such as Zambia, Malawi, and Tanzania. And also the program has helped me uh, even at workplace to enhance my work. Currently, I am assisting uh, the country through debt issues and so on. So I am very grateful to Sarah for the uh, sponsorship that they have afforded me to do my PhD. The Sarah program provided support to Zimstat to improve the availability of quality of economic data in four priority areas. PISES was a year-long survey covering a nationally representative sample of nearly 32,000 households. It provided the best data in a decade on many aspects of life in Zimbabwe. Sarah provided funding to help complete the survey, technical assistance for calculation of statistical weights, and detailed quality control feedback on the draft PISES report. A central business register, CBR, is a comprehensive list of all businesses operating in a country. The CBR forms the basis for various economic statistical publications. Sarah co-funded and supported Zimstat's activities to plan and implement the extensive effort involved in producing the CBR. With the CBR established, Zimstat's attention turned to implementing the Survey of Services. With rapid worldwide expansion in ICT, finance, international trade, tourism and leisure activities, the services sector has become a major source of growth in many countries. To understand the sector, Sarah supported Zimstat's efforts to implement the country's first Survey of Services. My name is Kenneth Shonua. I'm a director at the Spau National Statistical Agency. Around about 2011, um, the director general informed me that uh, we needed to meet a team from the US CERA project. Uh, specifically, the project came to assist in the construction of the Central Business Register. The register also has enabled us um, to start producing an industrial index of production uh, because with our new register we can now attach establishments with their products. After the register, another um, project was the carrying out the first survey of services in Zimbabwe. Uh, it had never been done before. The nearest thing to it which had been done was the census of distribution which had been done in 1981. This survey of services was important for us uh, not only in improving the national accounts uh, currently but also uh, and produce the input output matrix for, for, for the office. 
um, and, and, and thereby, you know, showing the true uh, nature of the economic of or the economy of Zimbabwe. To aid dissemination of statistical products, Sarah supported Zimstat to revamp their website. The new interface provides easier navigation and public access to Zimstat's statistical reports. In addition, the new website includes online access to the National Economic Statistics Database, ZimDAT. Finally, Sarah coordinated with the World Bank to incorporate a microdata and survey catalog tool, the NADA, as used by statistical agencies and other data publishing organizations globally. We also have publications by category. Here we are looking at all the divisions of uh, Zimstat, the publications that they produce. If you click on publications, you are going to see publications in the uh, National Data Archive mode, which is the NADA. We've got the Central Business Register on top. By clicking under Central Business Register and visiting the data portal, you are going to see all the reports, um, all the documentation which were used in carrying out the Central Business Register inquiry. The other important aspect on the new website is the statistical databases and to view a certain indicator. If one goes on um, where it is written quick data search under what, for example, if you click, if you want to view something on inflation, click on month on month inflation and then you search it automatically gives you the most recent data value. You can get the statistics at a glance on GDP, on inflation, on population, on trade and, and on employment.